evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. Today is Tuesday, October the 12th, 2021. I'm Andrew Todd. In tonight's news, Oktoberfest rolled into Tullahoma. The Tullahoma Wildcats beat the last undefeated team in their division and the Tullahoma Area Chamber of Commerce celebrated its 100th anniversary. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. One thing about Park View, we could bring our animal out there with us. It would have been a deal breaker if we had not been able to take Gracie. Yeah, we would not have gone. If you want to do something, there's something to do most of the day. You shouldn't get bored. I really enjoy my life here at Park View. I really choose what I want to do. We have a wonderful library with hundreds of books that I love. It is a wonderful place. Terry Stroop here with Stroop's Accurate Refrigeration. We'd like to take this time to thank everybody for trusting us with their home and their business heating and cooling comfort. We'd like to take this time to remind everybody it's time for fall maintenance checks. They're taking appointments right now. We also would like to congratulate the 2022 class at Tullahoma High School seniors. Special shout out to two of those, which are our grandchildren, Mary Catherine and Owen Stroop. Let's go, Wildcats. The Bookshelf in Tullahoma is the fundraising arm of the Coffee County Literacy Council. Since 1988, the Literacy Council's goal and purpose has been to support and promote adult basic education in Coffee County. We enable individuals to complete their high school equivalency exam, which helps them get better jobs or continue into higher education. The Bookshelf at 114 Southwest Atlantic Street in Tullahoma is where we sell used books, which are donated to us by the community. Come see us, bring your books to donate, and join us as you find every genre of books that you can imagine. Welcome back. The Tullahoma Wildcats moved to 7-0 after defeating the Montgomery Central Indians on Friday night. News leaders John Gray spoke with Coach Olive about the win. Uh, good win. Uh, it's the third win over a top 10 team. Undefeated team. It's the third win over an undefeated team. Uh, as uh, We've been able to give three different teams not counting the first game of the year, three different teams, uh, their first loss on the year. That's a great accomplishment. And I told our guys last night that uh, during my time period here at Tullahoma, I know we have not beaten three top ten teams uh, in a regular season. And I really think that I think that we're probably the first time in the history of Tullahoma that uh, we've played three top ten teams in the regular season and beating all three and that's all three ranking. of them being undefeated right that's yeah state that's state yeah. ranking class 4a state rankings and um as uh i just think that's really uh a great accomplishment uh for these young men and uh, you know you go back in uh, the heyday there in the 80s when telehoma was really good um you only had three classifications, so it would have been harder to have all through, you know, to have that right, many top right. ten teams in your uh, region or district, whatever it was in that day and time. And um, now, by the time you go through the playoffs, you you see those teams, right. uh, and you have to be in the playoffs. But uh, for a regular season, I thought it was a great, great job by a great accomplishment by our young men, the senior class. Um, start talking to them a little bit about legacy and that how high how high a bar you want to leave for the classes that follow behind you for the next uh, decade, two decades, right. three decades right. because uh, not only in our sport of football but in the sports that they play in we've had just some unreal success over the last couple of years as that class. that class and there's so many of them that are multi-sport athletes um, and, and they contribute. They contribute in our sport, they contribute in basketball, they contribute in baseball. Uh, obviously we got a couple of kickers that play soccer as well right. as some others right. of the soccer goalie plays for us in football as well. So uh, it's just been a really, really unique class, a fun class. They're a fun bunch to be around. Uh, sometimes uh, 
you know, they get a little too chilled out for me, but uh, they always got their, they got it down. By the time you play on Friday night, they, they, they have it down. They know what they got to do. They know what they got to stop. And last night, I thought our defense was outstanding. Oh, yeah. I thought Coach Sis and the defensive staff did a great job. Uh, you know, when you're playing the option, it's assignment football. You can't get, well, I thought he had the ball, so I tackled him. Uh, you can't do that. If I've got quarterback, I got to take quarterback. Whether I think he's got the ball or not, I got to be there waiting on him because that's the way the option offense is set up. Is uh, you know three yards, three yards, three yards, three yards, three yards, three yards. Everybody's getting bored to death, and all of a sudden it's forty because right. somebody thought, "Oh, I thought he handed it off right. to the fullback, so right. I didn't take the quarterback." Right. And I thought last night our defense did a great job. Um, we uh, went for a big play on the opening kickoff. Uh, you'll see it, it's there. It, it would have gone a long ways, might have scored. Right. Uh, but we um, fumbled the football on the exchange of trying to run a reverse. Uh, so high reward, big penalty. <laughs> and uh, they take over at the 12 yard line and we find ourselves down 7-0 to uh, begin this ball game. But the defense- But, but it took them. Yeah. How many plays six, to go 12 six, yards? Six plays to go 12 yards. And, uh, defense was, was the defense played really well. I feel up right there strong. Uh, we held them underneath 100 total yards on the whole night. And, um, and so, this is an undefeated team ranked number what, six? Number seven. They seven came in as the seven. Yep. And, and so. They come to T Town. And, and, uh, you know, and they'll be a playoff team. They'll, okay. they'll, they'll definitely uh, get at least fourth place. They still have to play Marshall County and Pearl Cone. If they were to beat one of them, that would bump them up. But uh, they will, uh, they'll be the, the fourth place team. And I'm telling you, to be a fourth place team in our region, um, you, you got to be pretty good. And, and I think numerically, uh, Greenbrier's probably still got a chance to slide in there at that fourth place. So I don't, but. Uh, Montgomery Central holds the head-to-head -head against Green. Greenbrier and there's so many teams I hadn't been able to look that far down. I've just right. been worrying about our team. I know what we have to do in order to ensure uh, that we're playing at home in the playoffs right. and so forth. And that is uh, we win one more game. We're assured the first round game at home. We win two more games than any playoff game we're involved in until the state championship game would be played here at Tallahoma right. High right. School. Uh, Tallahoma Wildcats. Uh, 7-0. 7-0 and, 0, and uh, sitting now number one in the region by ourselves. After these messages, we'll be right back. MacArthur Manor Assisted Living is passionate about creating better experiences for our Manchester seniors. Our residents describe us in a few words. Welcoming. When you walk through the doors at MacArthur Manor, we'll treat you like family. Caring. Through high standards of personalized care, we help residents live life to its fullest. Engaging. With a wide range of life enriching activities, there is something for everyone at MacArthur Manor. With our residents and staff now vaccinated, call us today to schedule your safe and personalized tour. I was skeptical about getting the COVID-19 vaccine. There are a lot of opinions being shared. But I had the chance to talk with my doctor about my concerns. He told me the vaccines are backed by decades of research and that the vaccines are proven safe and effective. Now I'm protected and ready to put this pandemic behind us. Join the millions of Tennesseans who have decided to give COVID-19 vaccines a shot. Visit covid19.tn.gov to find an appointment today. We teach Parkinson's patients how to move big and not let the Parkinson's slow them down. I've had patients I've treated in-house that could not even stand up, could not roll over in the bed, left the facility walking with a walker, have come back to us and outpatient and continued their big program and are now completely, you know, handling life. The success of the program is just phenomenal. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. Welcome back. Last week, the Tullahoma Area Chamber of Commerce celebrated its 100th anniversary. News leader's John Gray was there and brings us this story. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're at the Tullahoma Chamber of Commerce. 
it's the four, it's the 100th anniversary of the Chamber of Commerce here in Tullahoma ribbon cutting. And we'll go inside and find out what's going on. All right, there's people standing around and there's door prizes to be registered for inside. The ribbon cutting is gonna be outside. There's beautiful hope right there, 100 years. Congratulations, dear. You know, the Grand Ole Opry's only 96 years old. Tullahoma Chamber of Commerce is older than the Grand Ole Opry. Isn't that outstanding? October 1921. Congratulations, sweetheart. And folks are gathering for the ribbon cutting here at the Chamber of Commerce. And of course, we have plenty of road noise right here. And there will be a, another celebration at some point, at some location. Uh, but today is the ribbon cutting for the 100th anniversary of the Telahoma Area Chamber of Commerce. And how could this be any more perfect than to have a train come through town? and big trucks at the red light. This is Tillahoma, Tennessee, downtown, folks. The Tillahoma Area Chamber of Commerce, 100th anniversary ribbon cutting in their uh, redesigned building that was done a couple of years ago. Outstanding location, outstanding people, and now it's time for the girls to cut the ribbon. <laughs> On Friday, Tennessee Governor Bill Lee and Commissioner of Education Penny Schwinn invited Tennesseans to participate in the full review of the state's education funding formula and explore possibilities for a more student-centered approach. Governor Lee said, quote, we will pursue a rigorous review of our state's education funding to ensure we are properly investing in students and stewarding our resources well. I invite every Tennessee parent to tell us about their current experiences as well as their hopes for the education, environment, and experience in our K-12 public schools." End quote. The state's current school funding framework, also known as the Basic Education Program, or BEP, has not been meaningfully updated in more than 30 years. Education Commissioner Penny Schwinn added, quote, Tennessee students are the future of our state, and we've got to be sure our public schools are well equipped to prepare each and every one of them for lifelong success. Consistent with our focus to continuously improve the academic achievement of all Tennessee students, we are excited to open public conversations and discuss an investment strategy that aligns, that aligns with those goals and values." End quote. District and school leaders, elected officials, families, education stakeholders, and members of the public will be engaged in the coming months through committees, survey opportunities, local meetings, and more. Public engagement will focus on a student investment strategy that incorporates the following goals. Prioritizes students over systems, empowers parents to engage in their child's education, incentivizes student outcomes, ensures all students, regardless of location or learning needs, are served at a high level, reflects Tennesseans' values, and creates flexible funding that prepares students for post-secondary success. House Education Administration Committee Chairman Mark White said, quote, how we fund education is one of the most important conversations that we can have as a state. Today's announcement and the engagement opportunities to follow will better equip leaders at all levels as we ensure that school funding works to serve all students. I'm excited for the opportunity to work alongside my colleagues in the General Assembly 
the administration, local officials, educators, and parents on this important topic, end quote. Dr. Joey Vaughn, director of Manchester City Schools, said, quote, opening up the opportunity for conversations to look at funding for education in Tennessee is vital to continue growth of not only the academic, but also non-academic needs of students across the state. Tennessee has been a leader in education and focusing on strategic investments for our kids and their futures is essential to continue the great work in our district and statewide, end quote. And we'll be right back with more News Leader after these messages. It's not Invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. It's a Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. At last night's Tullahoma Board of Mayor and Alderman meeting, Mayor Ray Noas read a proclamation acknowledging next week is Celebrate Babies Week. Resident La Laurel Stone of Child Care Resource and Referral accepted the proclamation, which was promoted by the Association for Infant Mental Health of Tennessee, or AIM High. Representatives of the Imagination Library of Coffee County, the Child Development Center, and Center Stone Early Childhood Services were also presented the present for the proclamation. This evening we have a very special proclamation that I would like to do. This is a, and this is for a, to proclaim and celebrate Babies Week. And uh, this is the first time I've recalled doing this, but it's an honor to do it. So let me just read the proclamation and you'll get the gist of what, what this is all about. <coughs> Whereas the Association of Infant Mental Health in Tennessee, that's A-I-M-H-I-T-N, is dedicated to the improvement and celebration of healthy social and emotional development in babies and recognizes the value of investing time, resources, and awareness into infants, toddlers, and families for the future of our wonderful state. And whereas 80,000 babies are born every year in Tennessee, and whereas to guarantee a bright future for Tennessee and its families, we must ensure that all children are given the very best start possible. And that begins with early relational health. And whereas scientific research points to the earliest years of life as the most critical for social and emotional development, forming the brain connections that build the <coughs> architecture for future growth, and whereas the most crucial, crucial ingredients in laying a healthy foundation is caring, nurturing relationships with parents and caregivers, teachers, professionals, and the community as a whole. And whereas there can be a celebration of diversity with outcomes that are equitable and inclusive for all Tennessee babies, providing a sense of belonging for future generations. And whereas, although through international community outreach, networking, education, intervention, and social awareness, <coughs> babies and their families and those that, are, that support them throughout Tennessee are celebrated. Now, therefore be it resolved that I, Ray Norris, Mayor of Tullahoma City, Tullahoma, Tennessee, on behalf of the Board of Mayor and Alderman, do hereby proclaim October the 18th through the 22nd, 2021, as Celebrate Babies Week in Tullahoma and encourage all citizens to recognize the vision of AIM, HITN, and the celebration of babies. Ray Norris Pair. <laughs> Mr. Laura Stone, if you'd please come forward, I'd like to present this to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to say I'm very proud of Coffee County. 
all the community resources, nonprofits, and support agencies that uh, just really gather around all the babies that are hundreds of babies that are born in this county every year. And that's why I just ask everybody be intentional to support all of those services and think about the babies related to all of the work that you do. So thank you. The annual South Jackson Oktoberfest was this weekend. Attendees danced and sang as the polka band played and they sampled local libations. But one of the highlights is the beer stein holding competition. Here's video I shot at the gathering. One arm, hold it out, and go. Can't raise it up, you gotta leave it straight out. You should have had some. <laughs> yeah, <don't laughs> <take it. laughs> No, no tickling. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah. Ah. We have a winner! We got a double fister over here. We got a bear in one hand, got a bird, got a glass of water. Welcome to a southern October place. You got your bear, you got your water. Look at that testosterone! <laughs> Right back with more news after these messages. I got a tour and I saw all the things and I was so excited about them. Then she took me to the movie theater and it had red chairs. And this is a done deal <laughs> and I like it. <laughs> we have so many activities here that you just can't keep up with them all. We have exercise, we have coloring, we have crafts. It's uh, charming, it's attractive, it's very comfortable. It was one of the best decisions of my life. To be honest, I was skeptical about getting the COVID-19 vaccine. I checked what the CDC says and spoke with my doctor about the potential side effects. It definitely made me much less anxious. She told me if I have some arm pain or feel tired, that's completely normal as my body builds a defense to the virus. I was willing to take the vaccine to protect me, my family, and my friends. Join the millions of Tennesseans who have decided to give COVID-19 vaccines a shot. Visit COVID19.tn.gov to find an appointment today. The individuals with dementia, those with Parkinson's, those that have maybe mobility issues, need caregivers. Well, those caregivers are 24 hours a day at home and they never get a rest. And if they have to go to work, they're kind of out of luck. So that's why Trinity came into existence 25 years ago, to allow the caregivers to have a safe center where they could put their loved ones, know they would be well cared for, stimulated, fed good nutritious meals, have activities to their level, and then the caregiver can stop by and pick them up and go on home and have some continuity into their life. Welcome back. At the latest Lunch and Learn held at D.W. Wilson in Tullahoma, former Tomb of the Unknown Soldier Guard Sterling Howard addressed the significance of the number 21 at the tomb. 21 is the magic number for the highest salute to a dignitary that is given. And so that was selected that in our walking, 21 steps will be our salute to the tomb guard and the unknown soldier. So. From one end, we take our first step, we end up with 21 steps. 
we face the tomb and we start counting 21 seconds and after that we turn face down the mat and we start 21 seconds again and at the end of 21 seconds we walk 21 steps so everything was focused on the 21 and that was our salute to the unknown soldiers and uh, we always carried the weapon the weapon was her body was between the weapon and the tomb protection that we would devote our life to that 21 seconds how do you know when 21 seconds is up you got to find a method for it because believe me people on the plaza would have stopwatches and they would time us and you better be on time or they would sure tell you and they'd report it to the sergeant oh, no. so we were in trouble so that was one of our focus is getting the 21 seconds down when you made that turn and you click you started counting I started a method of 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, until I got to 21. And I did it over and over and over till you got it down to exactly where it was. And so we were always doing that. Some people said, well, I imagine a clock. I see the second hand on a clock going around. So everybody had their own methods of doing it. As long as it worked, that's all you wanted it to do. That when you got 21 seconds it ended, you started walking. And don't forget to tune into this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m., Thursday morning at 9 a.m., and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evenings at 6.30 p.m. This week's guests include representatives from South Jackson Civic Center who will let us know about several events coming to town, along with Carol Stevens from the Tullahoma Arts Center who will invite us to come experience their new show. All that and more on this week's Living. And stay with us, we'll have your weather forecast right after these messages. I feel like we're safe at Park View. There's somebody on staff all the time. So if you need help, help us there. We are surrounded with people that are looking after us and, and taking care of us. The staff is wonderful and always available. We feel so safe and secure here. I feel safe at Parkview all the time. We're losing it, Doctor! Not on my shift quickly. Brush. Roller. What a transformation! It's going to be okay! Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one! Got you covered. Works of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor stat. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this date. Our record high was in 1963 at 89 degrees. The record low was in 1906 at 28 degrees. The average high for this day is 73 and the average low is 49. Partly cloudy for tonight with a low of 64. Partly sunny for Wednesday with a high of 81 and a low of 63, and mostly sunny on Thursday with a high of 82 and a low of 65. And that's our newsletter report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday evenings at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. for Newsleader on 6. Stay safe and have a great evening. <music>